welcome to Holiday World. I'm Allie Pinshorn and today we're going to be talking about the Keystone Avalanche 338 GK. Come with me. Starting at the very front here, first I want to point out, just like all of my Keystone models, because Keystone has this patented, is our hitch vision. Now this will reflect either in your rear view mirror in your truck, or if you turn around and look, either way it works great. This actually gives you a much better vision as you're hooking up to your road armor pin box here. You've also got road armor suspension on this Avalanche 338 GK. Now, coming up under here, I want you to notice that we actually took the extra step to have two separate compartments. Now, it's sure enough easy to make this one big door, one big cutout, save on costs, but how convenient is it for you to have a separation here and a true separating wall right here to protect all of your hydraulics, your inverter, you've got your docking lights back there, and then you've also got, um, if you can see right back here, here, you've got your battery disconnect. So all of that is safely protected behind this door here while you can use this um, to actually put in a generator and a generator prep or use it for extra kind of storage without worrying about your hydraulic system. Around this side, this is where you'll see your automatic leveling system. Now this does actually have a app compatible with Android and Apple so that you can level and auto level your avalanche from your phone or from right here. Notice that we put it at eye level. We didn't stick it in the pass-through compartment because nobody likes having to reach in the pass-through compartment and poke their head out to see what they're doing as they're hooking up to their truck and adjusting their landing gear. Here, you have full visibility. You can look around and control it at the same time. It's very convenient you aren't all hunched over. You can see here, this side in particular has three slide outs. We'll get to the other side here in a moment. Your two 30 pound propane tanks are going to be behind this door here. Here we've got our pass through storage, the other side of it. This hose here goes to your outdoor shower, which we'll get to in a moment. You can actually see all of our color-coded wiring that is a Keystone, um, not exclusive, but Keystone was the absolute first ones to come up with that. And it's kind of silly that nobody thought about it earlier. Now you can also see our aluminum framing here. Everything is going to be double welded. Double welded means that you're gonna see a bead on this side and a bead on this side. Now it's a very clean bead, let me zoom up here but you can see that bead there. And that is a full bead, it's not just tacked on. Now that allows to help with the integrity of the RV. The likelihood of either of those coming loose or the weld breaking is extremely unlikely and that's exactly why we do it. Moving around here, I wanted to show you our outdoor convenience center. Now, one of my favorite parts about this is how well everything is labeled. There is no question about what is what when you're talking about your winterization, your city water connection, your tank flush. Those are all very, very different things. Um, even if you want to fill your tank, normal flow, winterize, you can control all of that and there's really no questions about it. It's very, very easy, even for the first time RVer. You've got your satellite prep. This is connected directly to the roof so that you have all those cables already ran, easy enough for you. And then your key TV control box there. Now key TV is a Keystone exclusive. That um, key TV, actually the booster works automatically and it eliminates all splitters for easier access for you, easier um, workability, and it's going to give you a better picture. All your, your black, your gray, and your other gray tank pins are right here, your pools, and then you can run all of your wiring, all of your hoses right up through here so that you can shut this door when you're done. Moving around here, you can see that on both sides, I will say both sides, and the rear is prepped for cameras. So that's very easy to install. We don't have to run that wiring if you want side cameras and rear camera. You've got G-rated tires there. Don't forget our road armor suspension. And you have a 7,000 pound 
axle rating. This thing is not going to go anywhere down the road. It's got shock absorbing, um, that road armor, that hitch pin, nothing is gonna happen. Um, you know, the, we all know there are earthquakes on wheels, but this right here, it's like a category one. <laughs> <laughs> now looking around you can see our frameless windows we've got a ladder it's a fully walkable roof and slide boxes we've got our double awning here this unit this model this floor plan actually comes with an outdoor kitchen you have got a drawer here for extra storage space you've got your two burner cooktop your six cubic foot refrigerator extra storage up there and looking right behind here, you've got your two 110 outlet plugs, your light switch, and then another key TV setup so that you can put an outdoor TV out here. As we move along, I also want to point out your LED light strips underneath both of these awnings. You do not have to have these awnings open to utilize the light strips. You might be able to see in the video, they are a soft light blue, which is wonderful because it gives you the most lighting. It's easy on the eyes and it doesn't take away from the atmosphere when you're camping at night and utilizing those. So after that, kind of giving you an overview of everything outside, again, you've got your outdoor speakers, you've got your solid steps here, um, and you've got your six point auto leveling system. All of that I've kind of briefly touched on. Let's go inside and let me show you a little bit around in there. Here we go. Walking inside, the first thing you're introduced to is this grand kitchen area. You've got an 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. You've got tons of counter space in here from the bar to the extra space here and even the little coffee bar right here. Now looking around, you've got your three burner stovetop, cooktop, and then your oven. Up here is going to be your extra large microwave oven tons of storage all the way around with magnetic grips, soft closed doors. You've got your roller shades for lots of windows. I'll show you all the windows here in a moment. Looking here, you've got your separate stainless steel sink and it is an extra deep sink there. Looking over here is the pantry. Now this pantry is an extra large, so you've got your vent there and then all the room for all your canned items, bagged items, anything you want in there. Moving here to the dining area, I actually went ahead and put this leaf out so you can see the total extent of this dining table. You have your four chairs here, which everybody can comfortably fit and eat. They are still strapped in. You've got lighting all around here, beautiful lighting. So no matter what side the lake is on, the mountains are on, if they're on both sides, you have beautiful views. Coming to the living area, we have a large fireplace. Now that will put out some serious heat to save you from having to use your propane because that will actually run off of electric. You can also pair that with your propane furnace with your gas furnace for extreme heat, um, but that fireplace will do a magnificent job if you just need a little bit of warmth. Now you've got your TV right here that is on an arm so you can pull that out and face it whatever direction you want to. You've got storage above the TV here, pass through, storage all above there, and I want to point out that that AC is running, so it is extremely quiet. That's our intake. It actually uses a true residential air filter. It'll cycle out your dust mites, your allergens, everything that those little thin membranes can't get, you've got covered right there. And you can change that filter out extremely easily. You can get replacements at any of your big box stores and probably at Amazon as well. This couch right here will fold out into a bed. If you notice on both end caps, we've got our cordless chargers here that you just set your phone down and charge again just look at all of these windows here you've got two windows over here three windows behind me looking around at the theater seating you've got three windows behind that and this is actually going to also be your emergency exit all of these have the roller shades that i've just mentioned they pull down and if your kid lets them go you don't have to worry about them rolling up and getting tangled up now your recliners here are going to have a heat and massage feature they have lights that come on right there I'll show you this one 
works great as a little night light or just some accent lighting. You also have a USB plug on both of these. And then you've got a cubby hole here for your remotes. Coming over to the bar area, this is my favorite. This ties in the entire floor plan. You actually have a true um, foot rail bar there. You've got your two bar stools. You've got beautiful accent lighting underneath so that you can set that up as your office station, as your um, another place to just sit down and have a few beverages. You can utilize that in so many different ways and it just puts this unit together, this model together as a beautiful, complete floor plan that feels like a home. Let's take this upstairs and see what's up there. You've got your power box where all of your controls are. Opening that up, you've got all your slide controls, your awning controls, your fan, all of your lighting here, your gas and electric water heater, your water pump, and you can check all of your tanks here as well as your battery life. All right, coming around here to the bathroom. So the bathroom, you walk in, you've got a huge 48 inch shower there with a seat and a skylight. I want you to see the size of that skylight too. It takes up almost the entire shower. You don't have to stand in one spot if you're a little bit taller. You've got your sink here. It is an extra large sink. There's plenty of room there. You aren't trying to fit into a tiny little one. Opening up your medicine cabinet. You've also got some linen closets through here. Notice how deep those are. They go all the way back to the wall. Plenty of room to roll up your towels and put them in there and even store your toilet papers, things like that. Opening up here, you've got your access to all your piping and some extra storage space. There's those soft closed doors again. Now I wanna point out this G GFCI outlet right here this little sticker, this inverted outlet which says Solar Flex. I've talked about this in my previous videos and I'm never not going to mention it because it's so incredible that these keystones are actually coming already installed with solar panels on top. This particular unit has the 400i Solar Flex package that is two 200 watt solar panels on top for a total of 400 watts. Now the I on that 400I is going to be a built-in inverter. So any plug that you see that yellow sticker on, there's gonna be five to seven of them throughout the trailer. Those plugs will run off of 12 volt, meaning they will run off of your battery, they will run off of your truck, and they can even run off of that solar. They will also work on shore power. They're not exclusive to the 12 volt, but it is extremely handy to have those as you're traveling down the road. Looking here at the bed, you've got your table stands, your nightstands on each side, and you've got plug underneath there, plenty of space to set your phone down in there, that cubby. You've got lights above each one, a beautiful headboard there, and then light uh, windows, not lights, you got lights there, windows on each side, that do open up so you can have that cross breeze on a nice cooler night. Coming here to your wardrobe. So you've got the beautiful mirrors here. This opens up and both of these doors do slide. Opening this up, you have a large top shelf that goes all the way across for all your shoes, hats, handbags, and then plenty of room down here for any of your clothes or other accessories. You've also got a 110 plug back there. Now, as we open up these doors here, as you notice it is connected all the way through. This is a pass-through wardrobe. You have the availability to put a washer and dryer. You can do a stackable or an all-in-one to save space, or you can actually utilize this as one big clothes closet. There's lots of opportunities here, lots of flexibility as how you can use this design. Over here, you also have your dresser, these drawers here. You've got your window there and a mounting bracket to put your own TV right there. So counting from here, from the bedroom, you do have an AC in here. You've got an AC in the main room that I showed you. So we talked about it over there by the ceiling fan. You've also got a third AC that is an optional feature, but it is already installed in this particular floor plan or in this particular model. So you can actually have three ACs in here. 
Now that you've gotten to see the outside and inside of my 2022 Keystone Avalanche 338 GK and gotten to learn a little bit more about it, you can feel free to contact me, contact information above, for any questions that you might have, whether it's information about this floor plan, information about my Keystone products, availability or pricing, again, you can reach me at the contact information above. I really appreciate you joining me today and I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Y'all take care.